Three minutes ago, the sky stopped being quiet. A new object, C-20 Trusivia-1, Borisov, popped into view, drifting in the same part of space as the enigmatic interstellar visitor, 3 iz Atlas, so both glow oddly bright and almost tailless, breaking the usual comet rulebook. Is this a collision course? A rare alignment? Or something we don't understand yet? Here's what no telescope has cleanly answered so far. On the night of November 2, 2025, a faint, unfamiliar blur slid across images from Crimea's Margo Observatory at the eyepiece, Gennady Borisov. The smudge moved against the fixed stars, just off the usual paths of main belt asteroids. Within hours, Borisov filed to the Central Bureau for astronomical telegrams, precise coordinates, magnitude, astute 12 bout 1, a diffuse coma nearly 30 is to cross, and, crucially, no visible tail. The provisional code flagged it as unusual. Borisov's name matters. In 2019, he built his own telescope and found two COO and Borisov, the first confirmed interstellar comet. Six years later, the same sharp eye and homemade optics had netted another anomaly. Word spread fast. Observatories in Russia, Japan, Ukraine, and the Canaries jumped in to confirm. Images and photometry flooded forms and official logs. Most teams saw what Borisov saw, a condensed, bright coma without a tail. Two of the first ten reports hinted at a faint, inconsistent extension, fuel for debates that would follow. By November 3rd, the find hit the global confirmation lists. The alert became official. C-2025 V1, Borisov. With the designation came urgency. Amateurs and pros were asked to grab photometry, astrometry, and any spectra possible to nail down the orbit and nature of the newcomer. The cadence went relentless. Hour by hour, new frames, new measurements, new questions. What began as one alert turned into a coordinated worldwide chase. Telescopes pivoted to track C on T trillion Frank 1 and 25 V1 as it slid between Earth and the strange interstellar visitor 3I Atlas. Survey frames from Palomar dated October 29th revealed a ghostly seed of V1 at Mamag 175. Five days later, it had brightened by more than five magnitudes, nearly a hundredfold in visible light, igniting a global amateur blitz. By November 3rd, images from Sukagawa, Japan, Lviv, Ukraine, and Astrovert, Russia, confirmed a sharp, compact coma, still no tail. A stacked image from La Palma on November 4th measured the coma around 4.6 across and mag 10.9s within reach of modest backyard rigs. Each night became a ritual. Raw images, photometry, visual estimates posted to cloudy nights, cobs, and telegram groups cross-checked across continents. In Aoi, Japan, the comet was logged at mag 12.2 on Novao 2. Hours later, Ulviv measured 12.1. Consensus formed, rapid brightening, accessible to amateurs under dark skies, and a coma dominating every shot. Reports arrived from Siding Spring, La Palma's Cherenkov site, and smaller stations from Poland to South Africa. Most agreed. No tail. Two reports, Crimea and Japan, hinted at a faint, inconsistent extension. Many blamed processing artifacts or background stars. The bulk of stacks and sketches told the same story. Bright, round coma. Tail elusive. A magnitude curve beating early predictions. The scale of the amateur network showed its power. In under a week, confirmations came from nearly every longitude, building a composite timeline, a clean brightness history, and a living record of the changing face. With the surge verified and the coma only look holding, the next challenge was obvious. Solve the orbit and the geometry that put C2020 V1 in that odd spot between Earth and 3I Atlas. Pre-dawn of November 7th, three comets traced separate arcs through the inner solar system. C2025 V1 Borisov, 3I Atlas, and C2025 K1 Atlas. Three-dimensional models kill the flat sky illusion. From Earth, V1 and 3I look clustered in Virgo, but in space, they're tens of millions of kilometers apart. V1 is closest, Chibut 055 AU, crossing upward from below the ecliptic, 
passing nearly between Earth and outbound 3I Atlas, which rides a hyperbolic escape well above the ecliptic. They never approach physically. On Novi 7, their apparent separation spans Nora 4 e 4 dean b 4 wonders depending on longitude, about two hand spans at arm's length. 3I Atlas stays distant, closest 1.8 AU from Earth, always outside Mars's orbit. The pairing with V1 is line of sight only, an illusion confirmed across hemispheres. Meanwhile, C2020, C12 Naiwa selling to Tallinn to 25 K1, Atlas, follows a different steeply inclined path in Leo, more than 14 degrees away on the sky and even farther in 3D space. On NOV 7, K1 and V1 shared a heliocentric distance but not a patch of sky. Bottom line, a brief pre-dawn window, NOV 6-8, where all three are visible. Three distinct orbits, one visual coincidence. Virgo owns the southeastern sky before dawn in early November. Perfect for comet chasers. C-2025 V1 Borisov rises early around MAG-13 for small telescopes under dark skies. Start scanning Virgo two hours before sunrise near the celestial equator. Both hemispheres can catch it. An 18 scope shows a tight round glow. Many report a growing coma, but still no clear tail. Three eye atlas tracks nearby in Virgo, slightly brighter around MAG-10, yet stubbornly tailless. Despite recent solar activity, best views in the last hour before twilight, c 2 2025 K1, Atlas, sits apart in Leo, fainter, Magon 14, but photogenic, with a golden-hued tail in longer exposures. Best before dawn as Leo climbs. Fresh ephemerides are essential. The map shifts nightly. Binoculars may tease the brighter target, but telescopes reveal the subtleties. A bright coma without a classic dust streamer isn't what textbooks promise. Yet V1 and 3I keep delivering exactly that. Dust physics offers a clue. The radiation pressure parameter beta measures how sunlight pushes dust. For grains larger than a few microns, beta falls below 1. Heavy grains don't get swept away. They linger near the nucleus, thickening the coma and refusing to form a long tail. V1's ejected dust seems biased to large refractory grains. 3I looks similar, likely mixed icy and carbon-rich material, skewing heavy. Add the viewing geometry. High phase angles amplify forward scattering, brightening the head and drowning any faint tail in glare. The result is a striking coma-only apparition that challenges both observers and models. Early November estimates place 3I near MAG 9.8 about 1.4 magnitudes brighter than standard light curve models, than 11.2 predicted, nearly four times the light. Yet there's no dramatic outburst, no obvious tail, only a compact coma and a stable surface brightness profile. Updated orbital fits search for non-gravitational accelerations from outgassing. So far, any term is tiny near the noise floor. Nothing like Umamua's measurable push. Preliminary spectra hint at more refractory, carbon-rich components, which could explain weak outgassing, a dense coma, and the missing classic tail. High-resolution imaging is now the priority to see whether fine structure is being buried by glare and seeing limits. China's Tianwen Mars probe quietly dropped a first look at C-20025 V1 in early November. A short, low-res clip showing a bright coma, no clear nucleus detail, no tail. Hopes turn to NASA's MRO's high-rise. As of November 7th, nothing public, no censorship, just mission priorities and geometry windows. Target of opportunity requests have gone to Hubble and JWS, none publicly scheduled yet. Ground imagers can only go so far. The answers we want sit behind proposal queues and review cycles. Meanwhile, strong solar storms hammered the inner system. A Rory from North America to Siberia. If anything builds a tail, it's that. Yet V1 and 3I stayed steady. No major tail, no abrupt coma changes. Astronomers are watching for delayed effects. Keep the logs rolling. If something non-cometary is happening, it will leave fingerprints. Sudden trajectory shifts in V1. Measurable non-gravitational surges Fragmentation that defies expectations. 
step changes in brightness, unexplained radio, or coordinated behavior between V1 and 3i. None of that has been observed so far. For now, stable coma, stable path. Track the forecasts, compare to data, let evidence lead. Tonight, two bright, nearly tailless mysteries slide over the horizon while questions pile up. Solar storms roar. The sharp images we want are stuck in scheduling, and three eyes' stubborn brightness, along with V1's heavy grain coma, forces a live rewrite of comet playbooks. The cosmos isn't done with us. Discovery isn't rare anymore. It's relentless. In Cosmos, we trust.